All right, we are in the uh, final round of the St. Andrews Links. What is this, our second or third 18 hole course? It's gotta be the, I think it's the third. I think it is, I think it is. I have no clue. I, I know I'm in last place right now. That's excellent. Let's start in last and go up. Let's see what the one person above me, what they shot going in. 33. I think I shot a 33. I think you pretty much have to shoot a minus 34. You pretty much have to get an eagle on every one of the par 4s. You need to get an eagle on the two par 5s, and you need to get a birdie on the two par 3s, and that puts us at minus 34. So that means we have to pick up something. We need to pick up one of the par 5s, one of the two par 5s. We have four opportunities to pick up something. Now, that's not saying that you can't get a hole in one on one of those numerous par 4s, 14 par 4s. But barring that unusual event, we need to pick up an eagle or an or a hole in one or an alby or something on at least one of those holes to get us to minus 35. I'm sure that at the top there's a minus 35 plus. And I came in with a 33, so that means that I'm going to have to pick up something on each side and come in with a minus 36 if I want to have any shot at, a, at the top spot. But even then, there's no guarantee. And I think a 34 will get you probably in the top 10, maybe maybe but we're gonna have to shoot better than that in order to have any shot any shot at winning that's the deal that is the deal let's get it all rolled up here set up let's get the old test pattern running and let's get uh let's get the holes this is the back nine this is the back nine i actually did go i actually took the time to watch my video which is what you're supposed to do so I could see what I used on the front in my uh, practice opening round. Front nine, hole number one. All right. Now I did this with a three power ball and where your red line is out here, you're pretty tight to it. And so trying to put on enough backspin so that you can get over to the other side but stick it without rolling off because it's green, a small, fringe and then you're in the rough the rough <laughs> rough and it is rough I'm trying to stick it up there so if you bring out a bigger power ball so that you can push your red line forward so that you can get more backspin so you can stick on the green you could do it with overpower but man overpower trying to trying to stick it it'd be better to bring out a bigger ball we'll see which way the wind is blowing that wind works for us. Now, it seemed like on this hole I needed to add on some. Like it, like the other day, what was happening was here's the here's the brick wall where the water's at. Here's water, and I was right on it, and just did a normal pull and had a tailwind, and it pushed me. We've got the water, we've got the apron fringe, and then we've got the green, and it pushed me like two squares into the green. So I definitely need to over pull it just a little but not a lot not a lot let's play let's go back let's do it let's let's make sure we got a big enough ball here that ball will work that ball will work and that club will work most of these holes i found that i didn't really need to add on anything to the to the drive but some of them there was small adjustments. This one being one of the ones. Times the wind divided by 1.2. See if I can remember how to do math. All right, take a deep breath. Here we go. It's always getting started in a tournament. You know, you get past that first hole and then you're playing and then you're doing the deal, but like, uh, psyching yourself up to get, get ready to go out there on the course once you're out there now you're committed okay I'm going to get as far as I can I'm going to go up against the red line so I can put on as much backspin as I want I 
could probably put on just a little bit more. Four 3.83 rings. And there's one, two, three, eight, three. Hidden perfect. Perfect. Gave myself a look at it. I could have pulled. I could have pulled even more. I did a 15% right there, but I, I could have did a little bit more. I've ended up in the rough here and was able to make the rough shot, but I really don't want to have to deal with that. I'm bringing out just a little teeny bit bigger ball. Just to ensure that we get an eagle, if that's the, that's a pretty small price to pay. Boom, perfect. El Perfecto. Yeah, because that's exactly what you don't want to have happen right there. That's a very makeable shot, but you know how it is when you're in the rough. you got to hit it perfect. And we want to see eagle on all of these holes. Whatever it takes. Most of them we, I was able to get down with just a just a regular three power ball. I'm sure if you're playing from the pro tees or from the master's tees, you're going to have to bring out something special on just about every hole. It's one of the things I like about playing Ricky is you don't have to bring out, you can, you can strategically bring out your special balls instead of having to bring out your special balls. Maybe you only bring out a special ball on a day when there's a headwind so you can, you don't have to do overpower, you can set it up at the plus 16 mark and work the wind out and you're all good to go. There are, however, a couple holes on here I will be doing overpower on. Into hole. Eagle. All right, hole number two. Hole number two. I didn't really look at hole number one. Hole number two. I am trying to just, I am trying, now you can overshoot this one. This is one of the few holes that are in these new ones where there's an apron on the other side. So it's fairway, fringe, green, fringe, and you've got a little bit of fairway around the green. You can overshoot it, but let's try not to do that. Twist the wind. The wind works. We can bring a Titan on this one. The king of balls. It's the wind divided by 1.2. If I can find an opponent. If. The elevator music has stopped. Three point nine, three point two five rings. There's three, four, five top spin. I'm gonna do four and a half. Three point two five rings. There's three and a quarter. Isn't it perfect? 
We'll see where we can end up. On the other side. I ended up on the other side the other day and I put on like between five and six toss spin and I put on less right there hoping that it would stick and roll out but it did roll out. <laughs> it did. See if my opponent can get up there with the navigator. I'm sure you could have used a smaller ball. And being right there is right there is not bad. Nice. Nice. One ring great to the right. In the hole. That was not where I wanted to hit because the wind was blowing from the left to the right and I hit it to the right. I don't think on that side I could have hit a two ring. <laughs> I probably could have hit a two ring great to the left and it would have went in. But not to the right. It's a draw. Eagle. That's what we're looking for on these par fours. Hole number three. What is hole number three? All right. We have another par four here. What does my note say here? Plus, minus ten on the drive. Plus six mark, two rings off, three and a half top spin, one and a, one half right hand side spin. And I was using a Titan, the King. So it's 0 0.9 times the wind divided by 1.2. Three and a half top spin. Half a right hand side spin. If I can find an opponent. Da, na, 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 na. I go first. There's three and a half. There's a half. I was up in this spot right here. The plus six mark. Two rings off. Two point three, one point seven two rings. There's one five, there's one seven five. There's a perfect on the way. Perfect! Perfecto! Now there's several of these holes like this one that you can definitely go for a hole in one. And I'm sure the next time we play this course, these holes are going to be, I mean, you're going to, there's some of these holes, you're going to have to really, really try and go for hole in one. I'm not saying it wouldn't be a bad idea right now, but right now the whole goal is let's just play consistent.
in the hole. Eagle. Wonder what we have in store for us on hole number four. I think it might be a par four. Going against the replay. Think about how many times you go out there and you lose and you lost to a replay and they didn't have to give a reward. Wouldn't it be cool if every time they used your replay in a game, you got on and, and it said, hey, you and your replay won seven matches, so you got seven chests to open. Wouldn't that be cool? Give us something back for using our replays. All right, hole number four. Max topspin. Which way's the wind blowing? Side wind. I pulled back to the plus 12 mark with max topspin. I'm looking at my notes here. All right, all right, here we go. If I can find an opponent, if. Thank you, Jared. Red, white, and brew. Power eight ball. Taking their APOC 5 and turning it into an APOC 6 or 7 with a bigger ball. That's the thing about the bigger balls now is that you can take mid-level clubs and you can enhance them. It is good. Max club. Max top spin. Four point five, three point seven five rings. It's three seven five. In a dead center, perfect. Dead center. Give myself a little putt. I'd like to be about half that distance from the cup, but we've got that sand trap in our way, so it does take off a little bit of the, the angle. And it feels like that's going to run out fast. Perfect. Yeah, and see how fast it was going right there if it hadn't hit the flagpole. Nice. That's why you bring a precision ball on that. That's a smart move. Isn't it perfect? In the hole. Woo! We can't get too excited about it. You can't get too excited about all of these eagles on these holes. We have to get them. That's just the deal. All right. We have ourselves a hole here. Let me, let me think about... The deal is, I came here on this hole the other day. This is the 
the par 5 on the front. I came here the other day and I brought out just a regular 3 power ball and I didn't put, I put on as much overpower as I could get without making the needle go any faster. And I ended up out in this area. My opponent brought a big power ball. And I was probably more in this area. I was long iron range. I was minimum long iron. My red line was right in here and I was able to hit it with my long iron at minimum club. My opponent brought a big power ball and got they did hit it perfect, but they were off trajectory a little. They were trying to go through this path, and they were a little too close to the sand. And it dribbled up the hill by the sand and then rolled back into the sand. But they could have gotten into this area. And in front of it, there are some serious hills, like where the green's at. The green's like this, and then it tears down. And so there's some serious hills right in this area. I don't know if you could get up on top of those, or if you're going to have to hit from down here at the bottom. But I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go to see like how close I can get on the green. So I'm going to bring out, let's, let's do a power search with top spin boost and see what my options are. And I only have one, I have one option. I do have some eight options. That is the only option that I have. Let's make sure we've got we've got everything else right. Let me make sure I set the wind up. I got two divided by 1.2, and I'm using two as my marker. So the wind divided by 1.2. All right, here we roll. Here we go. If I don't like the distance, I'm going to take the wind out and then put the forward moving wind back in. We're going to try and get it all. I think I can just leave the wind in. It's going pretty much straight down the fairway. And that'll put me in the sand. right out of it. Look at that. Can't be good, be lucky. That's got to be short. <laughs> That's got to be short iron range, if not wedge. My short iron hits. If I am in short iron, I'm going to be at minimum club and it's 3.5 per ring. It looks to me like I'm on the same tier as the hole, so like there shouldn't be a variable from where I'm at. It should be pretty much straight up. My opponent's doing the same trick. And they hit it great to the right, so that means they're going to tail off into the rough. They might, depending on how they set it up. And they'll tail off into the rough. Let's see what club I'm in. Wedge. Max wedge, which is 1.2 per ring. 3.8 divided by 1.2 is 3.16 rings. I'm going to put one backspin on. Isn't it perfect? Dead center perfect. Woo! In the hole! Look at that. There's one. I think we need two extras. But we have to get all the rest of them, so there's no guarantee on all that, but just picking up just picking up one or two extras is big. That's big right there. And I should have set it up a little bit short of the cup 
because it did bounce it was bouncing through there going down the hill and it was getting bigger bounces than the ball guide was anticipating oh oh i got robbed albatross that's what we're talking about right there all right hole number six what is hole number six it's a par four it's a par four back to our regularly scheduled program all right i was at the plus 16 mark with a half a backspin so i was at max club so which way the wind's blowing that wind right there i'm gonna have to bring out a bigger ball bring out an eight power ball nothing special nothing fancy right, we got eight we got eight power balls which one do I have the most of we got 40 of those we got 40 of those seven power balls I'm going to bring out one of these. I think that'll work. That's the wind divided by 1.2. I'm at the plus 16 mark with half a backspin. Titan. Got exchanged for whatever ball this is. Plus 16. Here we go. 1.5, 1.25 rings. Point two five rings. One point two five. And I hit a great with a precision ball. Look at that. All right. Short little chip. I went a bit too far on that last time and I didn't do any adjustment at all. I just hit it straight up and I got on the green, but I went, I ended up like on the back side over here. I didn't roll off, but I put that little bit of backspin on it just because I would rather not roll off the back here. There's no, you're in the rough. I didn't want to end up in the rough. I kind of ended up where my opponent was, a little bit farther, but not too bad. Today I was a little short. Isn't it perfect? In the hole. All right, we're rolling. Really want to get this last part three, not the next hole. Let's do one hole at a time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This this next hole is actually a little bit tricky. Let's see which way the wind's blowing on this hole. 
No end. One times two divided by one point two. I did it. I used a Titan on this hole. And I think what I can do here is I'm going to bring a Kingmaker. I used two side spin and I marked my curl. Four back spin, max right hand side spin. And I did outside so we got the ring and I went and I pulled myself so that the outside of the ball was on the outside edge of the ring. So outside ring of curl. And the pin was here and I ended up coming in a little bit on this side. So instead of adding more curl, I'm gonna up myself to a three side spin ball and set it up exactly the same way and see if it gets me any closer. Plus six mark, four backspin. If I can find an opponent. If. Thank you, Joshua. Leftovers United, aka Big Lots. 3.2, 2.66 rings, plus 6 mark. Max back spin, 4 side spin. That was 2 rings off. The plus 6. 2.66 rings. Seven outside ring a curl hitting it perfect. Rolling down, rolling. All right, there we go. Nice little putt. I see this hole as causing a lot of people problems because it takes some really irregular bounces and it's super easy to end up off the green. And I see a lot of people, I'm, I would bet that there's, this is one of the par fours people had problems on. Perfect. little chip. It should be in a pretty good spot. In the hole. All right, we have our second opportunity to pick up a shot right here. And I hit this perfect in the opening round, but I missed it. I didn't pull enough, so I'm going to add on 10%. I'm not sure 10% is enough. It might be a little more than 10, but I'm going to do 10. Let's go look at it. The, one of the things I didn't like about I think this is one of the holes... I'm going to do what I did on the, is it number, was that number seven? That was number seven, hole number eight. It seemed like I hit, I was mid club, mid grizzly, and I hit from down in this area, trying to be on, like there's some movement right here, and I tried to be below that movement on a flat area, and then my second bounce was over that, so I never engaged that area, and then tried to get a run at the cup. And I used a katana to get this amazing feet done. And I, you can definitely get it done with a lower ball than a katana. But the katana put me dead center mid.
with the Grizzly. And with this kind of wind, I think I am going to up it to 15% times the wind divided by one. If I can get Boondy. Boondy! Max, mid, mid. Right to the cup. 3.1 and I'm going to put it through the cup it's 3.56 rings we'll say 3.6 it's for safety here's 3.6 hitting it perfect Oh, maybe a 20. Maybe a 20. Alright, I like the rollout though. I like the speed. Just off trajectory. That's the thing that amazes me too, is that people that bitch about people that play Ricky they act like you still don't have to line it up right and make the right adjustment and hit perfect you still have to do that stuff in Ricky <laughs> the cup isn't bigger just because you're playing Ricky and the other thing about playing Ricky is, is I've I've used the Titan almost not on every hole, but I've sparingly. Man, close. Sparingly used my good balls, and it doesn't cost that much to play Ricky. Play Ricky, you can have fun in this game, and hey, there's nothing wrong with spending a little bit of cash on shit that you have fun with. So, you know, like playing something as a hobby and you're just having fun at it and spend a little bit of cheddar, no big deal. But if you want to be up at the top, and I'm, there's nothing wrong with that either, but if you want to be up at the top, you need to have the balls in order to do it. Which means you need to practice these holes, and every time you practice them, you have to practice with the ball you're going to take out on the course. So if it's a special ball, you have to have lots of them. So you don't want to buy anything less than a $100 pack. I mean, you can, but you can only if you're buying all of the packs. Because when good balls come out, you'll buy the $100 pack, the $50 pack, the $35 pack. It used to be you could only buy one, one of a pack. Like if you bought the $5 pack, you couldn't buy it again. Or the $20 pack, you couldn't buy it again. But I think now they might have changed that. So you might be able to buy more than one. doing something where I was in this area trying to get my bounce in front. I wanted to be well in front. I see uh, one of my opponents was like right, their bounce was right past that sand. Quarter topspin, half a topspin. Plus zero mark. Alright. We're going to take a Titan. Take a Titan in that wind. Somewhere here. Let's do pinned. I know I must have the king of balls pinned. This tournament is sponsored by Titan. The king of balls. If you can't get it done with a Titan, you can't get it done. Sergio. Again. I think I got Sergio earlier. Okay, I'm 
at the I was up here. I wanted to get up as far as I could. Four point five. 3.75 rings Isn't it perfect? like to get a little more distance before I did I did no um, I actually might have put on backspin there I meant to put on a quarter to half topspin I did this the first time with no spin at all and I was a little short of the green and I was trying to get where I catch that hill and roll down to the cup so it definitely needs to be the at least half to, to one top spin but I didn't want to do that I'd rather be a little short than long perfect woo in the hole alright we had a pretty good front the whole goal is to shoot eagles on all the par fours and pick up one and I shot eagles on all the par fours and I picked up one I achieved my goal on the front now I need to do the same thing on the back because I don't and even with a 36 I don't think I I really think there'll be somebody up there that's got me beaten tiebreakers but that'll put me up in the banner bracket or close to it Maybe. I have no idea what's at the top, and I don't want to know. My caddy knows, but I don't want to know. I just want to play my game. All right. We've got the 18 on the front. Now we need to get the 18 on the back. There you have it. Not a bad round. And I actually took notes, so I knew what I was doing. Look at that. I was prepared. Jeez. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber hit subscribe hit the like button ring the bell do all that stuff hey i don't bug you all the time like a lot of these people bug you like 15 times during the video and i i don't so if you like the content you're driving down the road and you just want to listen to somebody talk at least i don't say you can always tell if any of you want to do public speaking there's a group there's an organization called toastmasters and you can join toastmasters and they'll teach you how to public speak and how to create speeches and how to talk in front of a group and I was in a Toastmasters group one time and they have a everybody in the class I was amazed there were so many people in the class that are just like fearful of talking in front of crowds they were taking the they were they were in the group because they joined the organization because they wanted to get over their fear of talking in public because of their work and I was a trainer and I spoke in public all the time and I just wanted to to get better and they have an awe master. And the awe master writes down every time somebody's talking, how many times you said, uh, 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 and you'd be amazed. And when you go through that, you'll watch people speak in public or you'll watch people in some broadcaster. They're talking and they're doing, and they're like, uh, uh, yeah, we were, we took the ball, you see, uh, and we went down the field, uh, yeah, it was a good game, uh, and you will get tired of their, uh, their uhs. I don't say uh very often. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a good one, and I will see you on the back side. Stay safe, my friends. If I can stop it.